Welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics. In this module 4 we were discussing on development of lateral surfaces of solids. So far we have solved 11 problems on development of lateral surfaces of solids. Moving ahead for problem number 12 of our discussion which states that the inside of a hopper of a floor mill to be lined with the thin sheet. The top and bottom of the hopper are regular pentagons with each side equal to 30 mm and 20 mm respectively. The height of the hopper is 30 mm. Draw the shape of the sheet to which it is to be cut so as to fit into the hopper. The hopper is nothing but an frustum of an inverted pyramid which we have already solved in our previous lecture. If you observe lecture 11 of development of lateral surface of solids wherein which we have solved problem number 11 on inverted pentagonal pyramid which is a frustum. Same inverted frustum of a pyramid will give us the hopper. So, hopper is an converging converging sectioned solid like this. So, this is the hopper. So, when we pour something, it will be converged and poured into the bowl or something which is collecting agent. So, this is the hopper. So, this hopper is of pentagonal side having both top at top side and bottom side it is a pentagon he says. At top it is 30 mm side at bottom it is 20 mm side we should know how hopper looks so this is how hopper looks so this is very very important this is nothing but an inverted frustum of a pyramid so if you if you consider an frustum of a pyramid and invert it such that the top face have higher side length compared to the bottom face then we will get the hopper a problem of similar type is as in already addressed in our problem number 11 so, since recollecting that what we have solved in our problem number 11, let us address this hopper problem on problem number 12. As I said, for solids which is which are all resting on HP, first we should draw the top view. Since it is an inverted frustum of a pyramid, let me leave sufficient space at the bottom on HP to get the apex, which is required to extract the true slant edge. True slant edge is the reference for development. Correct. So, let me leave sufficient space at the bottom and small space in vertical plane. Let me fix the vertical plane first. Let us call this as XY line. Let me fix XY line and mark vertical plane and horizontal plane. So, for solids resting on HP, first I should draw top view always. So, since in our problem number 11, I had drawn the pentagon such a way that one of its side is parallel to VP because he has already given in the question, we should draw such a way that one of the sides should be parallel to VP. So, since we have solved such a way that one of the sides of the pentagon is parallel to VP, let me take one of the sides of the pentagon is perpendicular to VP in this case. If you take parallel and solve also, no problem, there is no constraint given in the question. Since we have already addressed side parallel to VP, let me take side perpendicular to VP and address in this lecture. That is, first lay down the top face of the hopper. Top face of the hopper is a pentagon of side 30 mm. So, draw 30 mm perpendicular to VP first. Taking it as a reference, I can draw the bottom face of the hopper. That is, I draw 30 mm side. So, taking this as a reference, I will complete the pentagon that is each side of a pentagon have interior angle of 108 or exterior angle of 72 make use of that on either side I will make use of angle exterior angle of 72 or interior angle of 108 marked now draw the side length is equal to 30 mm given drawn here also you draw 30 mm at an angle of 108 interior or 72 exterior drawn now to complete this sketch use compass measure the side length and cut arc joining which i will get a pentagon of side 
30 mm each perfect done so this completes the pentagon of say 30 mm each call it as a b c d and e now identify the center of this pentagon that is draw perpendicular bisector from corner to the opposite side so I'll get the center mark center as O from center you connect all the corners like this because this is a pyramid so from the center I connected all the corners now the bottom face on which the hopper rests is of a dimension which is equal to 20 mm right so therefore we have one more pentagon of say 20 mm first draw a vertical line of 20 mm parallel to AE and mark it as A1E1 which is 20 mm given so from the center on this line mark 1 cm 1 cm on either side which will give you a side of 40 mm which is parallel found and I'll call it as A1 E1 now using this I can finish the inner pentagon of 20 mm so measuring 20 mm we cut arcs at equal interval 1 2 from here we will get 3 so connect this to finish the bottom face pentagon of side 20 mm each so this completes the bottom face so connect this one connect E1 to E A1 to A B1 to B and C1 to C here we have D1 to D so this is not necessary so draw very light only to find the center done now this is an inverted frustum of a pyramid extend it from extreme corners we have A E and corner C we have A E and corner C extend it so this is the top face height of the pyramid frustum of a pyramid is given the frustum height is 30 mm the frustum height is also 30 mm so mark 30 mm frustum height take the projection for 30 mm frustum height done so from the inner pyramid also you take extension that is a1 e1 you take extension from a1 e1 and from c1 like this and create the frustum so this will give us the required frustum hopper so this is the required hopper in the front view so this is the required hopper in the front view so we got the hopper in the front view this height is known which is 30 now I want the axis of this pyramid let me call this as A1 A this as C1 C so since front view use primes A1 dash A dash C1 dash C dash now from the center you draw a line to identify the axis projected to identify the axis projected now find the apex just extend it to intersect the axis extend C dash C1 dash to intersect the axis yeah. 
extend a dash a1 dash to intersect the axis Now you will get the apex and mark this apex as O dash and this as O1 dash. Now if you carefully observe, we have totally 5 slant edges that is A to O, B to O, C to O, D to O and E to O. Here in here ca this case O to C that is CO is parallel to VP. So therefore C dash O dash will give us the true slant edge. So no need to rotate any of the slant edges in the top view to and make it parallel because already we have one slant edge as parallel that is CO. So make use of C dash O dash to complete the development. Now if I measure this C dash O dash. So measuring this C dash O dash. I will get the dimension of C dash O dash as 123 millimeters. So measuring which I will get the dimension as 90 millimeters. I am getting it as 90 millimeters as the true slant edge dimension. Ninety mm is the slant edge I am getting and if I measure from here to here I am getting it as 32 millimeters so this length is found to be 32 32 mm on the slant edge so this dimension is found to be 32 mm on the slant edge the height of the pyramid hopper is 30 mm whereas its length that is c1 dash to c dash is measuring 32 mm and the true slant edge is measuring 90 mm and also i want to mark these projections we have b1 D1, B and D. So take projection from B1, D1 first. Take projection from B1, D1. This is for the sake of completeness of front view. And take projection from D to the top face. So this will be D dash b dash and d dash and here we will get b1 dash and d1 dash so connect these two b1 dash and d1 dash so this projection will be b1 dash and d1 dash here it will be a1 dash is visible e1 dash is invisible here a dash is visible E dash is invisible. So this is the hopper in the front view. Clear? So this completes the sketch. Now first let us draw this one. That is, first you draw. Ninety mm arc for unknown angle measure radius of 90 measure radius of 90 and draw it draw for unknown angle draw for unknown angle and each side is measuring 30 mm so measure 30 measure 30 mm and cut arc set equal interval Cut arc set equal interval 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now connect these things to the center.
connect these things to the center remove the remaining arc which is not required this is o now if i connect this one i'll get sharp edges of 30 mm each at the top face sharp edges of 30 mm each at the top face correct now from here till it is 32 minus 90 90 minus 32 is what i require 90 minus 32 will be 58 58 correct so measure 58 mm from here it is 58 58 plus 32 will be 90 58 measured cut one more arc now if you connect you will get each side measuring 20 mm perfect you are getting each side measuring 20 mm so this is the required development right so from here till here we got 90 mm and from here till here it is 58 because from top it is 32 from bottom it is 58 and this side each is measuring 30 and bottom each is measuring 20 so you can see each is measuring 20 So this is larger in dimension because I solved this for scale. For this, I have used a scale of two is to one. That is to say that if it is 30 mm, I have drawn it for 60 mm. If this is 20 mm given, I have drawn it for 40 mm. So these two front and top is for a scale of two is to one, whereas this is for a scale of one is to one. For this, I have used a scale of one is to one. so this is the required development of the hopper so this is how we should solve in our problem number 11 we have taken one of the side as parallel to vp since we have taken one of the side parallel to vp in this hopper problem i take one of the side perpendicular to vp overall this is how we should solve whenever we encounter a problem on inverted frustum of a pyramid so leave sufficient space in the horizontal plane to get the apex of the given frustum of a pyramid without that we cannot find the true slant edge apart from that as we already discussed for pyramids one of the slant edge should be parallel to the vertical plane otherwise in the front view we won't get the true length of the slant edge if it is inclined rotate it and make it parallel and get the true dimension of the slant edge make use of that to get the development of the given problem hope the concept is clear this is how we should solve for hopper here he is given pentagonal hopper that is top and bottom faces are pentagon you can also try with hexagon for the same dimension that's all from this lecture thank you all